I believe it was either 63 or 64 that I became a, a club member and we had like demonstrations and you know uh, row silage. I remember going to, to Asheville and showing then I showed uh, beef cattle uh, in the old Asheville arena and in, in the new facility it's now it's uh, there at Western North Carolina but uh, it's just a lot of uh, great memories uh, great impressions. My mother still says today that my my Western North Carolina Beef Championship trophy is my, still my most prized trophy, which I, I believe it is. Main thing about 4-H is, is it's about role models, and when we think of young people, they are a, they are just a blank slate, and they're what you teach them, and and how you teach them core values about honesty and and uh, respecting people, respecting property rights. Uh, working as a team, working together to get a project done. You know, it's not about yourself. It's, it's about learning to share. And that's, the, to me, the main thing is that you're putting your young people in, a, in an atmosphere where you can sort of start writing on that slate and giving them, some, giving them a lot of, uh, like say, the core values that they need. Leadership is everything. So we, we as adults have a, a tremendous responsibility to mentor to the young people. Uh, the young people, uh, they'll learn and they'll pick it up. We have to give them the resources that they need. I mean, you know, it's, you can't send a person out into a field without tools or uh, to do the labor. So, I mean, it's, we have to give them the resources, the knowledge, and everything to, to allow them to, to grow. The great thing about, and unique thing about uh, 4-H is that you're teaching positive values, you're teaching, uh, you know, you're learning, you're having them learn about political, you know, even political things that they, they'll need to be uh, a part of as they grow up, as they become voters and as they become our, our leaders. I, I really think we're teaching young people to be leaders. You know, and, and I don't want to get biblical here, but I mean you reap what you sow and you sow your seeds on fertile ground. So you have, to, you have to have leadership, and the leadership has to, be, has to be constant, it can't be erratic. You have to, you know, once you commit to something, it's, 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 it's what you have to do in order to keep it growing. You can't just plant the seeds and ignore it. You have to, you have to nurture the seeds, harvest the seeds, you know, and bring it to, to full tenure. When I played basketball at NC State, I think you could see that we had a truly a, a, a passion for one another and it didn't matter who scored as long as we made, you know, as long as the team uh, went forward and it was not a, an individual deal. So you learn by doing, you learn by sharing, and, and you learn to put others ahead of your own personal needs. So it's, uh, it's to me, one of the, the nicest things that I, that I learned from 4-H was to, to be a team player. Uh, I, I just can't thank uh, 4-H enough for, for giving me this honor. Uh, as you say, I have a hard time, I have a hard time accepting awards, and, uh, and, but I just want to say thank you very much, and it's, 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 it's more than an honor.